homesteaders. Uh, this is my American Gothic look. Um, today we're doing a little tree pruning, and this is a adjustable tree pruner. You can you can extend the height all the way up to I think it's like eight feet, which is pretty much all you really want. Um, and it has it has a lopper right there, and then nice saw and you want to get a good quality one lop off so it branches like this or you can also lop them off using the saw with one quick motion motion like that So I'm going to try to get this tall one it's fully extended and uh, you basically just cut with the downward pole. And when it starts to fall you can go faster. Basically, like that leaves a 16-foot piece, close close to a 16-foot piece of of timber. So this is the this is the little woods that I'm working on here. I've done a lot of pruning today. Um, they're all black walnut trees. I planted them probably about six years ago, and they were only probably uh, one year old when I planted them, they were little little saplings. And uh, I dug holes with my backhoe so that they had plenty of good soil. I filled each each hole with a whole truckload, uh, dump truckload, small dump truckload of uh, compost, composted cow manure and stuff. So they're growing really well and they, they like pruning. Black walnuts like being pruned, especially in the summer. Um, they shoot right up. so. I've been working on these the last few years, and now they're clear to about about 14 to 16 feet off the ground, and so in probably about 30 years they'll be they'll be good timber trees. But in the meantime, in the next in the time in between when I cut them down or cut some of them down, they'll be two little uh, seedlings in each hole, and some of them still have two. These are my these I did two plantings. This first batch down further down there was the first planting and then the next year I planted some more so so this more recent batch still has two saplings um, in some of the spots and once they start growing I'll determine which of the two is the best and then I'll just trim it back to the one which I did already here and here and there these big black walnut trees here these great big ones here um, there's one there that's one of the smaller ones actually right next to it there's a great big one right there, right there, and there's another one there. Um, those I planted about 30 years ago. Some of the some of the pruning, I left um, crotches like that higher up, um, partly because the tree didn't have a uh, um, they, it didn't have a specific direction. It was going straight up and had split. So I left that because that might, when these get cut down to be lumber. That might be a very interesting crotch there that made the tree more valuable. So I left that on a few. There's one there. I left a crotch on that one. And there's then there's ones like this where the tree just was not growing in the right direction. It was growing, it was bent, and so I had to prune it back to the, the nearest vertical. Now maybe there'll be some some sap suckers coming up off of here that will straighten the tree out. And even a tree, even these trees that have little twists in them like this, as they get older, they fill out and they'll straighten right up and they'll fill in all the little, the little knots. All these little branches like this will become covered over and eventually the wood out, out beyond this will be clear. This one I left with a, a branch coming out um, not too high off the ground. It's only a little bit above my head. But I think in uh, in years to come, it'll grow solid and it'll be an interesting interesting crotch right here that might be useful for something. 
and it's growing out in a direction that there's no other trees, so that's okay. If it All right, let's get Patty going. This is Patty. Um, she was Patty, two owners before I had her, and I've had her for uh, I don't know, 30 years almost, 20, 25 years. So. Patty likes a little bit of brake fluid each time I use her because it seems to all drain out. She's uh, 1965 and pieces of 67, pieces of 64. She's like all of us, a little bit of everything. Give her a little gas in the carburetor, because that all drains out too. That's why they have this little well on top of the carburetor, I think, so that people can do this. Pour the gas right in there. They don't have to take the carburetor off. They don't have to take the cover off. That's what I think, anyway. All right. Let's see if that goes. Stack the pieces, the uh, branches, with their their uh, branch end out the back, so they're easier to pull off. You can just grab on here and just pull them right out, and uh, makes it a lot easier to unload. A friend of mine was cutting a bunch of brush, and uh, he was making a lot of trips, and he had a had a flatbed like this, and he was stacking all the all the branches on the end here, and he said he had this method where he could. He could get, he had big, big long branches, big heavy things, so he could get them. So they were just about balanced on the back here. So the, the, the crown or the, the foliage part was on the front, just kind of teetering, and a big long piece of branch was going off the back. And it was just about balanced so that when he got to where he was going, he could just kind of give them a little pull or just put a little pressure on them, and they'd all fall right onto the ground, and he could just drive out from under them. So it was quick to unload. But he said he had been doing that, he had taken a couple of loads, and this one load he had it balanced and it was just about right. And he was at an intersection in town, a busy intersection, and he had to make a turn. And so he started up from the stoplight and that little start up with the clutch and making that turn was enough. And he lost his whole load right in the center of the intersection. <laughs> so I had to, had to stop and pick all these big pile of branches back up and put them on the truck. So there's always a trick to doing things. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It makes it possible for me to make these videos. And I like sharing them with you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.